Hello, my feng shui friends. Let's talk about the energies of cities today, and two in particular, New York City and Paris. Your environment can affect you in a positive and not so positive way. Cities definitely have their own specific energy and can impact the people who live there in very different ways. I'm a New Yorker come Parisian, and I can definitely feel the difference in energies in both of these cities. Keep watching to learn about the energy of both cities and watch till the end to find out tips on how to manage your own energy in different environments. I'm Susan Chan, Certified Feng Shui Consultant, helping you create beautiful and intentional spaces and a beautiful intentional life. New York City is like a work ant army, always moving and very efficient. In Chinese metaphysics, there is a five element theory and New York City is built with a lot of metal. Metal in Feng Shui symbolizes communication and you'll notice by all the noise and chatter that we hear in New York City. And that's the energy that most people love about New York City. It's a city that never sleeps and that consistent active energy is what we call yang in the yin yang theory. The skyscrapers are impressive but as you look up you can be transported out of your body and feel ungrounded. As energizing and motivating New York City's energy is, it can be draining if not managed. As a metal person having spent almost 50 years in New York City, I was feeling drained by the city's metal energy and I needed to take a break. A less energetic person who just arrives in New York City may be happy with the surge of metal energy that kicks them into action. See how energy works? But if you're living in New York City and are feeling drained, grounding self-care rituals are crucial. Activities such as gardening, hugging trees, and doing projects that require your hands are very grounding. They remind you to be present and be in your body. Now let's shift to Paris, the city of earth and water energies. The earth element can be found in Paris's uniform cream-colored limestone buildings, giving a harmonious look to the Parisian architecture. The fact that the historic buildings could not be built over six floors allows you to feel grounded and stay in your body. Paris's water element, the river Seine, has a meandering throw, which is positive in feng shui. Fast moving water doesn't give you enough time to capture the chi or good energy, and water that's too slow can be stagnant. The serene nature of the Seine and its cobblestone walkways are a flaneur's dream come true. The word flaneur in French literally means an idler, someone who strolls or lounges. Isn't that great? Personally, the earth and water energy of Paris, reminding me not to be in a hurry, embracing the slower pace of yin energy in the yin yang theory. Paris's slower energy compared to New York City is charming but must be balanced as well. We love Paris for its serene streets and chill cafes, but making sure to schedule regular activities and time blocks for focused work will keep energy flowing, especially if you're someone who operates at a slower speed. One city is not better than the other, as in yin and yang theory, both are needed for each of them to exist. The impact of a city's energy on a person depends on what the existing energy energy of the person is and what energy they need. This balancing energy concept also applies when looking at the feng shui of homes. Your turn. Where do you have too much stuff or clutter? Those are spots where energy stagnates and needs clearing, especially if you're somebody who's feeling stuck. Rooms where you don't feel like spending a lot of time and are just pass-throughs may need some plants and heavy pots or rugs to ground the room to combat scattered energy. I hope this comparison of yin and yang energies helps you understand your own energy, the energy of your city, and the energy of your environment. Let me know in the comments if you tend to have more yin or yang energy and what energy you think is in your city and in your personal space. Did you like this video? If so, hit subscribe and click the bell for alerts for when I publish new videos on how to live an intentional feng shui life. And remember, feng shui is not a luxury, but a necessity. See you soon.